Uh, good morning, everyone, and many thanks to the Center for, Spa for Spatial Studies for the opportunity to give this talk to this morning, right? Well, most of you probably don't know me and vice versa, so the first lighting of this talk is not spatial, but personal, and don't worry, right? I will come back, I will come back to the reason why I looked at funny in a sec, right? So, um, I'm Marcus, and I have been working um, at the University at the Vienna University of Technology with Professor Yanis Yanopoulos since 2019. I won, as Kitty mentioned, a European Marie Curie Global Fellowship, and that's what led me here to beautiful Santa Barbara, to UCSB's Department of Geography, as a visiting postdoc scholar, and that will stay for 18 months. I basically will start tomorrow. So I'm honored that I'm given the opportunity to work with Professor Dan Montello. So thank you very much, Dan and Yanis, for your continued scientific support. Thank you, Professor Sweeney, and thank you, Karen, for all the administrative assistance to get me here. Now, what am I going to work on? Well, you probably all know the saying, when in Rome, do as the Romans do, right? But what does it mean when it comes to wayfinding behavior? What I'm interested in is to study spatial familiarity of pedestrians, right? So. I'm, I would easily find my way to the fairground known as Prada in my home university, Vienna, seen on the picture here, right? I would have a tough time finding my way to Santa Barbara Mission, though, as I'm new in town, right? So my conscious and also my unconscious wayfinding behavior would be completely different, right? And this is exactly what I've been working on while at UCSB, right? Conducting empirical research in C2, which enables me to study full body movements, including joint angles, as well as eye movements uh, by familiar versus unfamiliar people based on their location. And that's why I'm looking so weird, right? So these little uh, matchbox sized uh, sensors are IMUs, and my participants will wear 17 of them on their body, right? And these allow me to track their whole body movement, right? The glasses I wear are probably the least obtrusive pair of eye trackers uh, you can get, right? They have infrared sensors to track eye movements down here. And last but not least, what I need to have is like the obvious location of the people. And that's what I will use a high precision DNA test to for, right? So taking these inputs together, I'm aiming to distinguish not only unfamiliar from familiar people, but also different types and different degrees of familiarity. Right? After all, familiar, that familiarity with places is different from the one with routes and areas, and different people have the same or different degrees of familiarity. Why am I going to do this? Well, I'm, I'm aiming to foster theory building when it comes to how they collect from a methodological point of view, combining and thinking all of these centers is a challenge. And finally, from an application perspective, the results will be useful to actually tailor root instructions of pedestrian wayfinding systems to specific needs. I look very much forward to meet you all in person and to lots of intriguing discussions. Thanks. A very interesting question. Yes, um, whether this uh, sensor will and have an impact on people. Well, I mean, um, so they are very lightweight. Um, so they 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 wear I don't know like, like I would say like fifteen to twenty grams each, right? And people can wear so people need to wear like a special shirt, right? But other than that, they can wear just like normal glove, uh, their normal clothes, right? Um, except of course for these uh, gloves, um, they need to wear. And I mean, as I said, right? So these these this eye tracking glasses, I mean, they are as less obtrusive as it gets, right? I mean, it's like, it's like wearing a sungla wearing sunglasses, right? Other than that, you will not like um, realize any kind of sensors, sensor being um, yeah, on your body, right? Um, it's just like wearing normal, uh, normal sunglasses. Right? And yeah, the, the GNSS receiver is also very lightweight um, and can uh, be attached, for example, to a belt or, or whatever. Um, so if people like carry, so the main reason is that like the sensors, the IMU sensors, um, if you put a, um, an, uh, an iPhone into people's, let's say, pockets, trousers pocket, right? These um, sensors are really not very, let's say, 
um, precise. That's the first reason. And the second reason is I would assume that like this, so I'm interested in different degrees of familiarity, right? So what I want to work on is not only say, okay, comparing unfamiliar people to familiar people, not this binary direction, but really like along the continuum. So I really need to have some precise knowledge how people actually act in space, right? How their body movement may change gradually when their level of familiarity actually changes. So that's why um, an iPhone will not be sufficient.